morning this is kasturi de speaking on digestive system of uh, class 6 syllabus icsc syllabus okay now what is a digestive system it consists of a system of in our body which is concerned with the digestion of food that we eat okay now what is food it is a kind of fuel as well as a kind of building material for all living organisms now food contains what food contains nutrients the what is nutrients the raw materials our body needs to build everything from muscles and bones to the brain and the heart now food provides us energy to do work it nutrients for the growth and repair of the damaged cells and tissues and materials for keeping us healthy and disease free so the food which provides us with all the necessary substances is known as nutritious food so a nutrient is a constituent of food that helps one way or the other in the body's functions now nutrients are of five types one is carbohydrate one is protein third is fat fourth is minerals and fifth is vitamins carbohydrate provides us energy for example we get them from rice potato sugarcane etc proteins provide the body with building material to grow we get them from pulses milk egg etc now fats provide energy and help in insulating the body for uh, we get them from ghee oil butter etc minerals are needed for the for their specific role in our body like iron sodium calcium phosphorus etc we get them from bananas figs nuts etc vitamins are needed for normal functioning of our various body processes like milk orange fruits green vegetables etc like we get like uh, vitamin b a b c d k now carbohydrates proteins and fats they are called macronutrients as they are required in large quantities whereas minerals and vitamins they are called micronutrients as they are required in minute quantities now what is digestion or nutrition the process by which all organisms obtain or synthesize their food and convert it into simpler substances so that it can be absorbed and utilized by the cells of the body now digestion and nutrition is five steps one is ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection now digestive system has different organs one is alimentary canal or the food canal and the digestive glands now alimentary canal is divided into different parts like mouth with teeth and tongue second is esophagus third part is stomach then comes small intestine then comes large intestine then the rectum and digestive glands are salivary salivary glands liver and pancreas okay now this diagram shows you of the human alimentary canal and its associated glands we see that this is the mouth through which we ingest our food we take our food there are teeth tongue etc which help in uh, simplifying the food into smaller portions and then it is transferred in through the pharynx into the esophagus now from the esophagus it passes on to the stomach this is the stomach from the stomach it passes to the small intestine this is the small intestine this is the small intestine the uh, then it comes uh, different parts of the small intestine and then it enters into the large intestine this is the large intestine and finally it comes to the rectum and ejected out through the anus uh, while 
the food comes down from the mouth to the udders there are associated glands here are salivary glands three pairs of salivary glands are there one is here one is here and one is here okay three pairs of salivary glands are there okay then the liver is there and the pancreas this is the pancreas is there these uh, give in uh, these give the their juices into this uh elementary canal and through which there are and we get the enzymes which help in digestion of the food okay the first process of nutrition is ingestion which is done by the mouth second portion second process of nutrition is uh so that is digestion starts in the mouth carries into the stomach and completes in the small intestine third process of nutrition is absorption which starts in the small intestine and ends in the large intestine fourth process of nutrition is assimilation is done in the large intestine by the body cells and the fifth process of nutrition is ejection and is done by the anus of the uh, anus um, as feces now we come to mouth the mouth is bordered by upper and lower lips the lips uh, help in closing the mouth during swallowing inside the mouth there is tongue and teeth the mouth that is taken uh, in the uh, the food that is taken in the mouth is broken down uh, into smaller particles pieces are chewed by the teeth the food that is taken in the mouth that is called ingestion okay now the teeth based on the different shapes and functions they are incisors canines premolars and molars okay now incisors they the front four teeth at the middle of each jaw they are caesal serpent their function is for biting and cutting now canines on they are present on either side of the incisors in each jaw they are four in number they are pointed they are used for tearing premolars two on each side each of the canines in each jaw they are eight in number they have occlusal surface they are wide and uneven they are diamond shaped with pits and fissures for crushing and grinding their molars is the fourth uh, uh, shaped tooth the last uh, three teeth on each side of the each jaw they are 12 in number occlusal they are occlusal in shape surface they are wide and uneven they are rectangular broad surface with pits and fissures they are used for finer crushing and grinding and ingested food the last molar tooth on each side in each jaw is called the wisdom tooth appearing at the age of 17 to 20 years or sometimes it does not come at all now human teeth set are two two sets of teeth are there one is milk set and this another is the permanent set milk set is temporary set this is the first set they are 20 in number they appear in young children and they fall out at around the age of 5 to 6 years but in permanent teeth they are the second teeth they are 32 in number they start appearing by about 12 to 13 years of age they fall when old when person become old they fall off now what are the functions of the teeth cut and break the food into smaller pieces grind the food into a pulp so that it can be swallowed easily help in speaking okay these are the tooth we can see the incisor canine premolar and the molar okay now we uh, end with this uh, teeth portion now we'll come to tongue in my next video okay this is my email kasturi74 at the rate gmail.com you can if you have any query please contact at this uh, mail id and please subscribe 
okay thank you and we'll come to the uh, next video with the tongue